Do you have an aging parent? Let's talk about it. This is Ranger Rob and welcome to the Ranger Rob Country Living Channel. And uh, today I was going to bring up a subject because it's kind of frustrating. As you know, uh, we've talked to you that we, uh, uh, Sherry lost her father about a year and a half ago. And uh, we've been taking care of her mother who is uh, definitely uh, needs assistance. And so she's in assisted living. And she's about 20 miles from here. And uh, she gets tired really easy and things like that, but the most frustrating thing is what well, for sure he's got to be is, you know, we got her a new place up here in Bend, Oregon. Uh, we were in Arizona and she had a decent place there, but uh, I have been the only one that's been in her room and it was only at the beginning and I had to be fully dressed and covered uh, just to set up her television headset. Uh, she uses one of those runs around her uh, uh, her shoulders. And so I get to see what her room will look, uh, look like, which is a small, quaint studio room. And uh, she doesn't sleep in a bed. She likes to sleep in an electronic uh, chair that lifts up and all that stuff. So we tried to get her into a bed, but she just insists on that. So, But here's the, here's the thing is... is with the vaccines and all that stuff, they are just about announcing saying that uh, family could actually come in and visit and possibly even start visiting in their rooms. And uh, so this was going to be the week for that. So her mother was actually kind of excited about it. Uh, and just the day before it happened, Two people at work there showed positive for COVID, so they did a lockdown again. And now everybody's been vaccinated in that uh, assisted living thing. And, uh, you know, most of those folks in there, they just don't give a crap about any of this virus stuff. They just want to see people. And you say, oh, that's cruel, Rob. That's mean and stuff. No, that's from them. I'm not making this. This isn't my feelings. That's theirs. For goodness sakes, we need to let them see their families. And uh, life is full of uh, gambling. Uh, if it's not this COVID thing, it's the flu. If it's not the flu, it's a pneumonia. If it's not pneumonia, it's a cold. If it's uh, And then there's just regular ailments that come along that you just can't control from cancer to all kinds of crazy stuff. And it never stopped us before. And, and the older folks, they've been around. They're accountable for their actions. You remember that. And that's what just frustrates me is why people can't be more accountable for their own actions. Why do you have to have things censored? Why do you have to have cartoons removed? Why is it certain movies or shows or books have to be removed? All you have to do is not open the book. All you have to do is walk by the book. All you have to do is change the channel. It's called being accountable. And you need to learn how to do that again if you're not. You can't have your mother and father protect you all the time. You've got to be exposed to the good, bad, and the ugly. And our parents and our grandparents know that. And I don't know where some of you guys had to start thinking about safety so much is uh, life in the thousands and thousands of years have never been guaranteed safety. Uh, and in what, the last 10 years, it's save me from this, save me from that, don't let me see this, don't see, let me see that, protect me, give up my rights, give up my freedoms and liberty. Our parents didn't want that. They enjoyed freedom and liberty, and they were willing to take the chances that they want to take. And sometimes they lose. 
Okay, I'm done. Ranting. <laughs> I'm good now. But come on, people! You've got to pull, pull your heads out of you-know-what. I know a lot of you guys who watch this channel are patriots. And I know a lot of you guys are uh, Americana. And uh, you believe in freedom and liberty. But a few of you watch that like are giving up uh, your freedoms, your choices, your accountability for yourself. You gotta stop. You gotta it's like, all right, there's a cliff there. I'm not gonna hang over and look. I'm gonna stay back a little. That's called accountability. Or do you get everybody all upset and say we need to have fences put up because I might lean over and fall off? That is as plain old stupid. I don't know where all this stupidity came from, but it's got to stop. And I tell you, hard times are coming. We're going to have financial problems, housing problems, employment problems, uh, mortgage problems. Uh, and then we're also starting to get where we can't have a conservative military anymore. And I have news for you. People are watching us. Uh, other countries are watching and there are some countries out there that aren't so nice and they're going to look for our weaknesses and they will they will they're, they're not they don't have the same principles we have they don't have the same cultures they don't believe in the same things a lot of them are accountable for themselves and others are uh, you know live for the government and the social role of media and uh I don't know why any of you guys would want any of that, but apparently you do. But anyway, all I can say is you should eat an apple. Apple will always make you feel better. And uh, try to grow your own apples. i got to learn how to grow one of these. I haven't taken the sticker off, so I didn't obviously didn't grow this one. But getting back to Sherry's mother, <laughs> I get so sidetracked. It's just darn sad, and a lot of it's not... It doesn't need to be this way. I mean, family, obviously, we're going to be careful. Obviously, we wear masks. Obviously, we stay distance as possible. But darn it, they need hugs. Darn it, they need our company. They need us to come in and just sit with them, even if they don't talk. But to be locked up in a room alone with only seeing nurses is cruel. Just plain-ass cruel. And it's got to stop. And I don't know how to stop it because nobody has the, the gumption to fight back anymore except for uh, people that are on the left and they, they're willing to burn down buildings and businesses. But, uh... I'm <laughs> okay, really. I'll be all right. Anyway, guys, uh, for those of you who have a uh, aging parent or someone you're taking care of, I commend you. Uh, not easy not easy at all and uh so uh, and then sherry's also taking care of the estate not easy at all when you have more than one sibling and uh the paperwork the doctor's appointments the bills the legal stuff the uh, investments all that has to be maintained by sherry on top of her job and top of our our own personal needs here and the homestead Gosh, I'm exhausted just thinking about it. So anyway, guys, uh, for those of you who are caretakers or caregivers, takers, caregivers, um, my hat's off to you. You don't want me to take my hat off, I'll blind you. Uh, keep the faith, stay strong, break the rules. Really, sneak in and see your 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 mother or father and give them a big fat hug and give them a kiss too and and take off your mask and, <laughs> anyway i got people walking by and cinder and, and bell have to go so guys have a great day thanks for watching please take the time to like subscribe and share our videos all over the whole wide world have a great day bye now our videos are made possible by ranger rob poopy bags Available at Amazon right now. Thank you very much for watching our video. 
please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.